Hello, welcome to 3D Pentonics. Today we will be learning how to assemble a Greg's Weights Extruder version 3 for Prusa i3. Firstly, we will have a look at what all tools which we uh, which will be requiring for this assembly. We need a M3 Allen key, a M5 Allen key or uh, right now I am using a screwdriver, a knife, a M8 wrench, oblique applier. Now, Let's uh, identify the parts which will be required for this build. Firstly, the plastic parts. This is the uh, weight extruder, uh, the larger larger part. This is the idler. This is the big gear, and this is the small gear. These are the plastic parts which come in the kit. Now the hardware. This is a M8 hob bolt. You can see the hobbing here. It comes with a a nut. These are 608 double Z skate bearings. We have four of them in our kit. This is a 19 mm smooth rod which will be used for the idler. Then there are washers, M3 bolts and nuts. And these are 40 mm M3 bolt, M3 bolts with springs. They with the kit they will come 70 mm. Right now we are using 40 mm here. These are M3 bolts, 10 mm in length. For, firstly, we uh, when when we we uh, supply this kit, we clean this complete part. So you see all these parts, all these holes, and all they have been cleaned by us. We have also you know uh, done this beveling over here so that the parts are easily assembled by uh, you know a person who is new to all these things. So for assembly, let's start with the idler. Firstly, we take the idler and we take a 608 ZS kit bearing. Take the 19 mm smooth rod and just assemble it like this and press it into the idler like this. Might have to apply some force here. Yeah, ideally it should go with some force. Yeah, it should it should rotate freely. Now it is done. It should rotate freely, and it should be it should be protruding from here, and it should rotate from here freely like this. So this is uh, the idler assembly is complete. Now take the uh, larger portion and just assemble the idler with the larger uh, uh, assembly like this. Take this 20 mm M3 bolt and screw it in from here. Use the Allen key, oblique the screwdriver. <laughs> Once this uh, this bolt protrudes from the other side, then just take a uh, M3 nut. Take M3 nut and just assemble it like this. You can tighten further. Do not make it too tight. Just ensure that the idler is free to move like this on this axis. Now Take the hob bolt We have to we have to install one uh, 608 uh, double Z bearing here Sorry, we have to install one 608 double Z bearing here This this area has been cleaned and it has been beveled so it, it would go pretty, pretty easily inside Just press it inside more Yeah, so it, should, it should settle down properly It should settle down like this without any gaps. So 
after we install this bearing take the larger gear put the hot bolt inside it should the the uh, head of the hot bolt should fit into the groove then after take one more it should fit into the groove like this take one more 6608 double z bearing sorry take two uh, m8 washers and place them like this thereafter take one more bearing and just install it like this now here you must take care that the hobby hot portion should align with the hole of the extruder now here it is not aligning so we will just remove one more washer Now you can see that the hob, hobbing, hob portion has, is aligning perfectly with the hole of the extruder. After this take one more 608 double head bearing and just install it like this and it should fit in like this into the extruder. Now take the M8 nut, take a washer. Take a M8 washer and just lightly put this screw on, put this bolt on. Do not tighten it at this moment. Leave it loose. Now we need to uh, install the NEMA 17 motor. So this is the NEMA 17 motor which if you order with the kit it will come otherwise you know you, you can order it separately also. So this NEMA 17 motor will be installed from this direction. Before you install the NEMA 17 motor we will install the small gear uh, on the NEMA 17 motor. So this is the small gear. Now the uh, gear which you might receive in your kit might be different however the installation procedure will be same. You might have a gear looking something uh, like this or maybe a different kind of gear similarly with the larger gear you might have a different looking gear however it doesn't really matter so take take the uh, uh, gear which comes with the kit just ins uh, install it like this in case the diameter is uh, uh, tight in case the diameter is small the gear will be really tight and will fit very nicely into the 5mm shaft however the diameter of this gear has been drilled out so you, you it, it will slide in easily now before you installing uh, before you install the motor you need to you need to check that there should be no backlash and the gear should fit perfectly so here the gears are fitting fitting perfectly uh, ab initio so we will just tighten this uh, gear smaller gear over here now you can you can align the uh, flat portion of the shaft with the M3 grub screw which is already installed into this gear so you simply tighten it little bit yeah they know it to tighten it too much once you install it like this now let's install the motor you need to take M M3 10mm nuts uh, bolts so once you align your uh, gears together so now you are pretty clear where you need to uh, fasten the motor so you can just take off this larger gear the entire thing Thank you. 
एकदम नंबर सेवनटीन मोटर टेन एम एम बोल्ट एम थ्री Don't want to make them too tight initially. All the other bolts also. Third one now. Just ensure that these bolts they go in straight and they are not at an angle. the motor is now installed now we can install our uh, hot bolt and the larger gear again in the same manner you can see the gears are aligned just take a bearing install it like this bolt 